bonding and grounding on a swimming pool are two different things that uh, a lot of technicians, a lot of swimming pool owners, a lot of people don't have a, an understanding of, so they get installed incorrectly often. Uh, this is especially true with older pools. I like to think that nowadays uh, pool builders are wiser and there's uh, minimum code protections in place for uh, bylaws for things like electrical inspection on the bonding grid, things like that. So it is more common now to see it done properly. However, there's still a lot of swimming pools out there that are being installed or operated that have an insufficient or um, inadequate or uh, completely absent uh, bonding grid and grounding protection. So to understand the difference between the two, bonding, uh, otherwise known as equip potential bonding, is a heavy gauge ground conductor, uh, number six in Canada, number eight in the US, and you would connect that to every metal component in and around the swimming pool area. Um, and basically what that does is it forces each of these metal components to all have the same uh, electrical potential or voltage. Uh, and the, the idea behind doing that is you don't want to ever establish a potential difference between any two pieces of metal in and around a swimming pool as that would uh, increase the likelihood of damage as a result of galvanic corrosion. Uh, also worth mentioning is if you could have established voltage differences in and around a swimming pool, uh, there exists the potential for somebody to complete a circuit by touching the two things. For example, a handrail made out of metal in the pool water, if they had a different potential, uh, then somebody touching between the two would complete that circuit, and that's how electric electrocution in swimming pools happens. Um, so it is very important to have the everything equipped potential bonded where everything is connected together with a bare copper wire. Now, that is different from grounding. All you've done with the bonding grid is you connected everything together so everything has the, the same potential or the same voltage. What grounding is, is connecting that bonding wire to a known ground, for example, the main ground bus of the electrical panel for your house. And what that does is it takes that uh, bonding grid where we forced everything to have the same electrical potential, and now we force that electrical potential to be equal to the lowest possible electrical potential or ground. Ground is actually a relative term. It's not, uh, there is no one ground. If you put a grounding rod in your backyard in one place and then connect to a different spot uh, to the elect uh, house electrical panel, those two could actually have a slightly different voltage, uh, which re would result in a current leak between the two. Uh, so the idea of bonding and grounding is bonding connects all of the metal components together around your swimming pool and grounding um, forces that electrical potential to be equal to zero.